Imagine that you are so ambitious that you became the greatest version of yourself. So in this video, I'll be showing you five principles I personally used myself to become incredibly ambitious. So pay attention because this isn't just another motivational video. I genuinely want to help you because I understand how important ambition is to a young man like yourself. So watch to the end because I'm also going to be ranking these steps from least to most important. With step number five being by far the most crucial and essential step to unlocking your ambition as a teenager. So chapter number one, setting clear goals. See, ambition is the burning desire to accomplish more. It is what drives professional athletes like Messi and Ronaldo to achieve great achievements and accomplishments. It is what drives Bill Gates, Elon Musk to earn their billions. And this all stems from a common goal. See, I use myself as an example. Two years ago, I was fat. I was overweight, addicted to video games and junk food. I was sad, constantly getting bullied and ignored by everyone around me. So I wanted to change. And this goal of losing weight, looking better, getting stronger is what caused me to make that change. This is how I was able to lose 30 pounds in a single year and change my life forever. But unfortunately, 84% of people do not have goals. 84% of people are directionless losers who serve no purpose nor good to the world. See, I don't want this for you. So here's what I'm going to tell you. Find the issue in your life that you're currently struggling with. If this is school, maybe you're getting bad grades. If this is with friends, maybe you broke up from a relationship. Find an issue that you obviously don't like and enjoy and then implement and find a solution to that problem. And that becomes your goal. That goal is not only used to finding your ambition, but is a framework to finding your direction and purpose in life. In this video, I've already highlighted just how important purpose is to a young man's life. Click on this video after this video. This is because without a goal, no amount of hard work and discipline will get you anywhere. And without this second step, no amount of goals will ever get you anywhere. Chapter number two, finding your why. See, setting goals is very important, but setting goals is absolutely meaningless if you don't implement that step. I wanted to lose weight because I was fat, but I also wanted to lose weight because I was getting bullied. My life sucked. I hated myself. And that was why I wanted to lose weight so badly. It's why I took extreme measures to do so. Adding reason to your goals allows you to be consistent and allows you to be consistently reminded of why you're doing it in the first place. Did you know that 92% of New Year's resolutions don't get resolved? Mainly because these people set incredible goals and kudos to them. But they don't discover their why. Why are they doing it? Why do they want it so badly? These are questions that people don't really answer. And so these goals get left unanswered. Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to study more? Why do you want to get better grades? Why do you want to get better at basketball? Why do you want to achieve these goals so badly you're willing to sacrifice every single aspect of your current modern day life just to achieve it? Think about what you truly value in life and then think about why you want it so badly. I want to become a YouTuber, so I make these videos, but why do I want to do it? I want to spread my message of self-improvement. But what if I also want to be a professional basketball player? What if I want to join these new four clubs at school? What if I have too many aspirations? Well, my friend, you need to move on to step number three. Chapter number three, prioritizing and organizing. We've all had that one friend. Maybe he's the student council president. Maybe he's an executive at four different clubs. And on top of that, he's averaging 95% in all his subjects. You might be listening to the story and you feel behind. You feel like you're not doing enough. But I'd like you to remember this one quote. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Your friend essentially practiced 10,000 kicks once. We all have limited time and energy, and when you are dividing that limited time and energy among many fronts, of course you're not going to be able to spend as much quality time on your clubs, on your fitness, on your studies. You won't be able to spend as much time on those priorities if you are prioritizing too much. And when you do that, you might not even be able to improve on those little things. I recommend you focus on two to three very important things. Focus all your time and energy on those things. Focus, obsess over them. And this is how you are able to improve on those things. To tell you something, you see all these steps that we've discussed, 
posts, discovering your why, and even prioritizing and organizing, they are all useless. If you don't implement these next two steps that I'm about to tell you, and remember, I'm also ranking these steps from least to most important. So step number five, once again, being by far the most crucial and essential step to unlocking your ambition as a team. Take action daily. You're fat, you're chubby, you're absolutely disgusting. You look in the mirror and you know, you need to make a change. You need to start going to the gym, but that never happens. You stay fat, you stay chubby, you stay disgusting for the rest of your life. See, this is exactly my story. For 45 years of my sad life, I was fat, I was chubby, I was disgusting because I never took action, even though I wanted to, and I knew I needed to. I never took the action and thus, I never made the change. Look, we might have desires. You might have desire to be a millionaire, but if you don't put in the work, of course, the millions aren't gonna come to you. If Elon Musk or Bill Gates or Jeff Bezos, if they hadn't worked their asses off, they would have never made their billions. So look, take action daily. Study in the times when you don't want to. Go to the gym when you are tired and exhausted from work. I want you to work so hard for your goals that you can achieve tremendous things. Whatever it is, you must take action or it's all for nothing. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I like to take my sweet time explaining this last step. This is by step out of the five. I've repeated this so much times, but it's so crucial, but it's also so neglected. Embracing failure. That's right, you heard me right. Embrace failure. Regrettably, in the modern society, we are taught that failure is bad. We are taught that failure is terrible, which you completely avoid it. But I'd like to say that this narrative is completely false. I personally worked out because I lacked physical fitness. And even though I worked out, I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. I was starving myself. I didn't know what exercises to do. I had to progressively overload. I plateaued. And at times, I injured myself in the process. But through these failures, I actually learned very important life lessons. The point is that failing teaches you important life lessons that even success can't teach you. When you fail, please look back on those failures. No matter how hard they are to look back on, look back on them, see what went wrong, why they go wrong, and how you can actually improve. If you fail a test at school, you'll be more determined to actually pass the next test. If you fail a bench press PR, you'll be dedicated and obsessed of smashing the PR next session. Look back on those failures, analyze, and then improve on them. Because losers cower away from failure. They avoid failure, and when they do fail, they allow failure to completely consume them. Winners, on the other hand, learn from their mistakes. They embrace failure. When they do fail, they look back on their failures. What went wrong? Why did it go wrong? And how can they improve? And once they implemented those steps, they achieve greater and more extreme heights of success. But did you also know that ambition, purpose, and confidence actually go well together? So click this video to learn how to be extremely confident. Click this video to learn how to be extremely purposeful. And thank you for your time. And I hope you enjoyed the video.